And we're back with some more room world. And we are finally, finally going to go and uh, claim ourselves a new location. Okay, you are... Yeah, you're killing whatever that is. Grand. Uh, we're heading over here to this pirate base and we are going to try and attack the pirate base. Kill all the pirates. Okay, Waffle's going to kill all the pirates. Then we're going to move on to the active combat tile and then just not leave it. Um, so yes, it'll be an active combat tile, not technically a settlement tile. And then we're going to try and survive there while we get constantly attacked. Should be... Um, Tricky, a little bit tricky, not gonna lie, because this is pirates. They're not actually tribals. The problem with them not being tribals means they can get, you know, uh, they can bombard us from afar, they can drop pod down on top of us, they can have doomsdays, explosives, it's just, it's going to be really messy. Last time it is, oh, can you tune for Sonico? Oh, new operation, yeah. Yeah, I've just been uh, tidying everything up and giving them bionic arms, bionic legs, and one bionic eye. Like, the entire team is just very, very, very artificial at this point. We have, um... We've maybe invested an awful lot in some bionics. All right, let's see, Waffle. This caravan is bringing along a bunch of supplies. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need to set up the base, but I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it. We've got Waffle here, their job, go in and clear the place out. Then we'll send in the rest of the team. No point risking everyone all at once, and since Waffle can turn invisible, if they've got anything that might cause us problems. Oh, how did you run out of food already? I, oh, we only gave you one meal. Okay, maybe I should have given them two meals, but they'll be fine. They, one full stomach, they should be able to hammer their way through all of the pirates. And we're in. All right. Uh, so, not a lot. Okay, there's probably more inside. We gotta rip them apart. Let me check, see here. Ah, we're gonna make our base in here. This is just outside stuff. Hey, Waffle, let's smash. Right now, we're being targeted by this mortar over there, which not too worried about, considering the speed Waffle moves at. So for our next bit, I'm thinking pop some go juice. There we go. Uh, pop a little bit of focus. And there we go. Now we can move at 15.17. Nice. Okay, let's get in close and start smashing people down. Now, uh, before we get in range of the turrets, we might want to invisibilize just a teeny tiny bit. Right there. Perfect. Then, invisibilize and unleash Waffle's inner predator. Which honestly is pretty easy. They're they're basically a, an absolute monster. You know what? They're fast enough that we don't even need to skip in range. I'm thinking in here is the place to go. We can get ourselves... Where, no. Come on. Oh. Perfect. So getting in here basically gives us a location where we can hold the door, so to speak. Eh, uh, yeah, come on, come on. We'll smash the door down, they'll come after us, and then we can stay inside and beat the snot out of them as they come in. Pretty much one at a time is the plan. If anything gets too complicated, we can just, you know, invisible again. Come on. And there we go. Wow, that guy took two hits. That's actually kind of impressive. Ooh. And another one bites the dust. Oh, shield went down. Invisibilize. Perfect. And you, come here for a second. Dead. Oh my god. Uh, dead. Ooh, that one's got a low shield. You know what? We'll take out that one first. Come here. One down. Giggles. Giggles, stand still. Stand still. I want that low shield on you. Thank you. Anyone else have any good stuff? You know what? Doesn't matter. We'll just uh, pop this guy down here. Oh, you almost got one off. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, hey, Tynan. Is that Tynan Sylvester? Oh my god, it is Tynan Sylvester. Come here. No leaving. No leaving, Tynan. Tynan is the developer of the game. He put his character in here. Uh, we could have... Hey, he's alive. For now. Hmm. We could turn him into a juice box. That might be kind of fun. I'll think about it. Weirdly enough, we can't claim any of the buildings just yet. That means there's an enemy left. I know there's some turrets, but... Yeah, Ooh, actually, we should invisible. No point taking risks. I mean, turrets are very unlikely to do anything more than scratch us, but if it's a scratch to the brain... Ah, there he is. There's that guy over there. Come here, you. Ouch. Yeah, that turret just popped. There we go. A quick destroyed head later, and now this entire place can be claimed by us. Except for some of the turrets, of course. And then we claim this area. Boom. Now, what turrets are left? Yes, yeah, some of these turrets still have power. We remove power to the turrets, and then we can claim them. 
However, I also want to find a nice prison room in here. We could find a quick prison. We could capture Tynan. Yeah, there we go. We can claim all of this. All right, we captured Tynan. They're safely stored away in there. We, oh, they might live, they might die. They're missing an arm, a toe, and actually we didn't take the whole leg off. Good for them. But uh, they're not going to be very mobile for a while. Time to bring in the rest of the team. Now, we brought along the entire Tiberius line. Every single miner we've got. They're going to mine the entire place. This should allow us to uh, quickly... Oh, here it is. 3.9 days until enemy arrives. In 3.9 days, we're going to get attacked. Then we will have to defend against it. And then about 23 hours after that, we'll get another attack. And then 23 hours after that, another and another and another. It'll just keep going ad nauseum. So we have to have the base ready in about four days that we can defend against the incoming raids. The raids should be based entirely off the wealth of the pawns we have on the tile, not the actual wealth of the tile, unless they've patched that since the last time we did something this stupid. So, oh, like there's a, a nice corridor down here and here. I need to make some plans. So this plan's gonna be a little bit of an odd one. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and set up a defensive line back here, right underneath the mountain. We're gonna have to put in pillars and stuff to stop the mountain collapsing on top of the kill zone, but it does mean that nothing can land on top of the kill zone. They'll have to land out here somewhere or smash through some roofs, because once we get under a heavy mountain, they can't come through. That means they'll have to land out here and we want to line this entire area with uranium slug turret. So we're gonna put a whole bunch all the way along here and have them shooting across this direction. That is the theory. And then we'll probably put some extra kill zones down here and you know, we'll find out as we go. This is going to be the location where everyone hangs around though. So this will be our uh, starting bedrooms. Uh, it, well, yeah, we're definitely gonna need some, damn it, throne rooms so that people can actually build up their site focus. And where is the rest of our team? Now, Waffel here has pretty much done their job. There's nothing really more they can do in this location. Uh, their best bet is just to hang around and wait for something to happen. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to get them to be planting and we're going to need to bring in some construction people as well. You know what? Let's just wait until the miners show up. I am very excited to see what the miners do to this and how long it takes them to dig this all out. I can't imagine it will take them very long. Uh, in fact, the longest time is going to be getting into onto the tile. We're almost out of time for the day. It's almost midnight. Thankfully, I think they're just close enough for him to make it. Now, I think we're all familiar. Oh, God damn it. So knows the way you start dr drilling, drilling something out. And then next thing you know, you just found a new. Uh, fine. Okay, Tash, we want you to help out. Where are you going? Taking medicine to inventory. Uh, okay. Uh, Requies, you are drinking Psychite tea. And drinking Psychite tea. Okay. I want you all to start helping out. Come on. Where are you going? Tending to Waffle? Uh, oh, Waffle's taking a nap. I don't think Waffle really needs the tending, to be honest. What, what's their bionic leg at? Yeah, you know what, let's just turn that off. There is no need for them to get tended at all. They'll be fine in... Jesus. Okay. That's one way to attack a mouse. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna need you guys to, to get in there. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Get back. Where where are you going? Feeding simple meal to Tynan. Okay. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> That's just really frustrating. And maybe we should dig back this way. Hold on, I gotta reach this. Ah! Always the way, isn't it? Let's try this again, shall we? We'll uh, hope we don't run into any more places. Now, I know there's tricks we could do. For example, you can select someone. Uh, go to, where is it, melee, I believe. And then if you hover over areas, it'll tell you something. I think you need a melee weapon for it. We'd have to use Waffle. Or yeah, Waffle over here. So if we say grabbed his weapon and we put it over a spot, you can see there, when it goes to the uh, the weird X symbol like that, it means you found open space. So there's a difference between these two. Like there, yep, open space, stuff like that. So instead, we're going to go down this direction. But I'm not going to check it. Checking would be cheating. We're just going to hope that we don't get done over again. Where, where are you going? Get back in here. Where are you? Oh, feeding simple meal to Tynan. Egg hey, round. The rest of the miners can take care of this. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh. I give up. I give up. That is just so frustrating. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. Um. Where is there? There we go. A whole other mess up that hopefully works. Come on, get in here. Uh, so they should... Drill through here, then they'll have to go into this section. 
Uh, we have struck compacted steel. Yeah, that's great and all, but that's not what we're interested in. Manhunter pack back home. Uh, how big is this junk? Ah, uh, it's just a bunch of polar bears. Yeah, we'll just set up the team. Well, that's going on back home. Hey, hey, hey guys, guys. There, there's some free tiles to mine in there. Go on, get into it. Now, don't open up any more spaces. Just please don't. This might... Okay. Just, like, uh, we get to here and it opens up a massive space. I'm going to be slightly annoyed, but it's fine for now. Let's see how the rest of the team back home are doing, but this should be fairly quick. So this is our miners on just normal speed. That's like one speed right there. They're literally digging out an entire base in less than a day. This is going to be weird. Now, when it gets down to this, we're going to have to hold on a minute. Come on. Nope, nope. You can get in there too. Perfect. They should be able to strip out this place in no time at all. Oh, come on. Ah, there's no heavy roof over here. That means they can drop pot in there. You know what? I don't care anymore. I just, I don't care. We will fill in the room or something. It's just, that is so frustrating. <laughs> we'll brick it up again. All right, just, just mine out the rest of the place. Make this nice and clean. Let's see how everyone's doing back here. And yeah, polar bears are not going to live very long. There's something to be said for having just 26 Lancers here. We're missing a few because Sonico is currently on a mental break. I think that might have been the yeah, anesthetic. Eh, it's wearing off in a bit. They'll be grand. I think we'll put the bedrooms in here for now. We want something pretty close to the exit. Uh, where is Waffle? Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't think we want these beds. In fact, we may, we may transport Pod in some people to do the construction for us. They are an industrious lot, are they not? Uh, construction's at 20 in all of these. The only problem is they're not spe construction specialists, so if we do make them get them to produce beds, they won't be of perfect quality. However, we can get them to put in some doors. We've got plenty of steel lying about the place. So, a few steel doors right here. Uh, one more in that section, and then we're going to have to get all of these blocks out of here. I think we'll chuck all the blocks in this corner. Now, if we want to build this place up into, like, a reasonable base, we're going to need some decent construction skills going on. So, uh... Shortly, they should be arriving. And boom. How did you accidentally cause all that stuff to collapse? That is unfortunate. There's not even... Wow, there is a mountain around there. All right, then. We're going to have to wall that in at some point. You, your job will be to construct tables and chairs. We can quickly set that place up. Hey, Waffle, where are you? You're meditating at the large sculpture. That's fine. We're going to clean this place up and turn it into our dining room. Uh, we're also going to turn this place into bedrooms. We're using steel because, well, it's rather plentiful right now in this location. We still have three days until the enemy arrives, though I do need to let some of these people sleep shortly. Uh, this may be their permanent location for a while, though I would like if they could get most of these blocks out of here. Just all of them, and uh, we're going to have to do a quick sweep as well. Even with a statue in there, that place is awful. Oh, we should drop down some meals. Alpha beavers, come on! <sighs> Where's this transport pod crash? Wait, why are we getting transport pod crashes? Uh, oh, it's a three-year-old? Oh, come on. I'm not gonna let a three-year-old die. I'm a monster, but I'm not like a monster monster. Fine, we'll... Tell you what, we will capture them and fire them back at whoever owns them. Not gonna be dealing with this. Okay, you, you can be hunted down. And you alpha beavers. Yeah, I think you all need to go. Yeah, some people will belong to kill you shortly. Over here, we're still trying to get the basics up and running. We've got ourselves a dining room that's somewhat impressive. Um, we're going to have to put in some bedrooms in here. Uh, Waffle, why can't you clean that? Oh, yeah. I do have to manually expand the home zone every so often when I remember to do so. Uh, I think we're going to be leaving just four pawns here and the rest can all go home. Well, so far things are kind of working out. Waffle and Jason, they're a couple, so we've immediately given them a masterwork steel double bed, and we've chucked them to a room that's somewhat impressive. We're trying to get the rest of the rooms done, but it's taken a minute or two. So I think, I think we should be fine. I think this area over here, considering we've got a little bit of open sky, this is probably where we're going to have our fridge exhaust go into. Though we're probably going to wall up most of it. Uh, we don't want anything landing in there. And the rest of the team is just digging at a back area here. We're going to turn this into, well, we're going to extend this and make this into an eight-bedroom section, and we're going to move our prisoner in here as well. Uh, our 
our juice box needs to be right back here so we can extract blood more efficiently. And we're even producing back home. Uh, we're actually turning out another prisoner gene assembly patch so that we can splice that on top of them. And where are you going? Consuming fine meal. Don't worry, we'll have replacement meals along shortly. Right now we are filling up the transport pod with 20 meals and a bunch of stuff. There is so much we have to get done and we've only got 2.7 days until enemies arrive. But look how much they can dig. That's just ridiculous. This team is awesome sauce. Ah, Vaffle and Jason, they're enjoying their time away from the base. I suppose a little bit of privacy doesn't hurt. For our next transport pod drop, it's all going to land here again, but I want to see if this knocks down the roof. Don't, don't knock down the roof. I mean, Alpha Beaver's Revenge. Yeah, you know, I'm going to worry about the Alpha Beaver's Revenge in a second. Okay, I think that worked. Jiraiku, you have shown up and your job is to wrangle all up the animals and then we're going to fire skip back home. I'm going to take the animals back home so that we can come out here with another caravan. Fire skip is going to be real handy for moving and uh, transporting goods long distances. Uh, this also gives us 30 fine meals so we can finally let them all have a few snacks. And I should probably go back home to make sure no one's dying to Alpha Beaver Revenges. No, Steven's just murdering a lot of them. Get him, get him, get him. Oh yeah, one more, one more. Oh. The fact that you managed to kill all of those with a single one getting to melee range? Yes, that is exactly what we were looking for. Okay, back to here. We've got enough meals, I think, that everyone can grab a snack. This room is now extremely impressive. Oh, damn it. Forgot recreational rooms. We need to put in some recreation. Hmm, one moment. The animals we brought with us have a bunch of junk on them that we're going to find use for. Oh, hemogen packs, definitely. Some telescopes. Uh, actually, the bedrolls we don't need, but we'll drop them off as well. The meals are going to be necessary. Other gear, plasteel, medicine, uranium. Yes, please. All of this stuff will be semi-useful, at least, to getting us started. I could just survive. Oh, this must have been stuff I was carrying around with it when it would got called up. But one of the best parts about living on a combat tile, there's a lot of negatives, but one of the good parts is instantly making caravans. Uh, we can go reform caravan. Uh, there is a few downsides. One, it, it selects everything automatically. Kind of problematic, but that's okay. What we want is Jiraiku and Tiberius. Tiberius actually has a spouse back home, or wait a minute, they're, they're hooked up with someone. I can't remember their social. I think it's um, Tasluk. Yeah. So they're hooked up with Tesla. We don't want them separated, so we're going to put them back in the caravan. We're going to take the... Oh, we're going to take the new juice box with us. We're going to fix them up back home. And we can take all the animals with us and maybe take some of the junk off this tile. For example, we can remove all the corpses. It doesn't matter if we overweigh the caravan. The game doesn't mind. Since you're on a combat tile, you can take as much weight with you as you want. Excellent. We can grab all of that and then we just hit send and when we do hit send everyone else will be left behind uh but all the stuff on the tile is now moved and in fact let's get rid of some of this gear we can drop off some of the stuff we're carrying around with us because we don't want it like see all those corpses yeah we can just uh bye 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 handy way to clean up the tile this is going to become more and more problematic to do the longer this goes on though especially as the raids get a little bit stupidly out of control ah and Tiberius's line gets a little bit of a break. They had it a bit rough there for a minute, but I think we've got through the worst of it. So I'm going to send over some cloths so that they can put together themselves a poker table. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit lacking on the recreation front. On the bright side, though, the wealth on this tile has been reset. I think only the wealth of the pawns counts. Or is it the wealth of everything? You know what? We can strip off. This we can demolish. In fact, I'm pretty sure our enemies will demolish it for us when the time comes. Um, hmm, and maybe that'll reduce our wealth as well. Ooh. We can take that mortar as well. Let's stick that in here in our soon-to-be refrigeration area. Uh, no, 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 serious. Yeah, fine, I'll remove the roof first. Oh, looks like that kid we... Oh, no, we are not keeping them. Like, we're about to live on a combat tile. You can you can go to hell. Uh, what's your name again? You're Whitehead, and you're from what tribe? You are from the Tusselwonk. Whatever, that's a weird one. We're going to load you up and fire you back at your people. We don't want you. Now, when it comes to mass moving stuff between settlements, we have a few choices. The first one is just fire skip and a large caravan. We can just load up a bunch of junk with all our animals, fire skip all the way over to here. It jumps us straight to our allies, which is, well, right on top of them pretty much. And then we can just zone the animals into the area we want them to go. And once the animals are zoned in there, we can just drop off all the stuff. All their gear, we can just drop it on the ground. We have brought along a, a few nice little things to help get this base jump-started, like some unstable power cells. 
Now, I know they're incredibly dangerous, but if we use them right, we can immediately deploy them all down here. We're going to wall them in to make sure we don't get any problems from them. I'm sure, we will still end up with some issues, but... And 2400 watts of clean power. Well, clean, unstable mechanoid power, I suppose, but it just means we don't have to worry too much about power running out anytime soon. Now we can hook up a fridge. Uh, yeah. So how am I going to do this is the question. Oh, there's a marriage happening. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, attending marriage ceremony. Whose was it? Oh, God damn it. You know what? Uh, attending marriage ceremony. I don't care. You got married, something happened. People are going to get a little bit of a mood bonus, but you're all not staying here. We've still got to move, like, pretty much the entire base from this location to another. Ah, no attending marriage ceremony. Whose actual marriage is it? Ah, Tiberius and Tussaluk P. Tussaluk P. Right. Hmm. You know, I might send those two over to the combat tile. I mean, it's not just that their mood is really high, but... That gives us one close combat person, one miner. We can bring back two of the other miners. I'd sort of like to rotate in the couples uh, first, and then we're eventually going to rotate in the, everyone here and pretty much bring a lot of this stuff with us. Not all of it. There's too much of it to bring. Though definitely all the silver. We, I think we've got enough silver that we, can, we should bring it along with us. It just means that uh, when we finish this up, I would like to get the five pawns and just fast forward them to the end of the Arconexus questline. It's not a big deal. The Arconexus questline is very much a... A very slow ending, in my opinion, but there's no real oomph to it. But we might as well do it while we're here. Well, first attack is about to hit this location in 0.3 of an hour. One of the advantages of uh, settling on a tile like this. You're not supposed to do it, but when you do... Oh my god. Right. 44 humans. We have... Uh, how many pawns in this again? Yeah, five. We have five versus 44. They've got only one doomsday, though. Uh, one triple. What's their actual thing? They would prepare for a while, then attack. I think Vaffel can go over and kill them. Uh, this is why I sort of sent Vaffel along, though Vaffel will eventually have to go down for a death rest. We're going to have to move over their death rest stuff. Ugh, this is, this is going to be weird. We're in a weird transitional phase. All right, we're going to send Vaffel over here and see what he can do against this mess. Ooh, I should probably point out, one of the reasons this is going to be so hard is uh, we've got 21 hours until the next wave arrives, so you don't get a lot of breaks in between attacks. Uh, we are going to have to set up some sort of weird, overpowered defensive line if you want to have any hope. That's why we're settling deep inside the mountains. Uh, the only thing they should be able to mortar is this location in here. But we kind of need that so we have some outside areas to vent our heat and to also have some telescopes and stuff. Uh, Mega Sloth Revenge. Seriously? Uh, they'll take care of it. Or they won't. If you get mauled, it's your own fault. You're wearing cataphract armor for the love of God. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think Vaffle can take care of this. First off, a quick invisible. Uh, then a dash nice and close. Now... What the... What was that? And how did we not get hit? I presume someone started locking onto us before we got around the corner. And yes, it, it was the doomsday. Okay then, uh, let's berserk pulse some people, shall we? You all. Perfect. And uh, while you're busy killing each other, we're just gonna start picking off people around the edge. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Every time he hits someone, I just have this image of a giant hole being smashed in their chest, and there's just nothing left. Like, there's just a giant hole poked where the hammer hit, and then that's it. I mean, crap, man. Look at that. That's like his stomach plug on the ground back there. Alright, invisible eyes one more time. Uh, yeah, and then go grab that shotgunner. Okay, and another one. Seriously, nine seconds left. Yet, I don't think any of you are going to survive. I mean, you're gonna try running towards uh, our base, but you're just gonna die before you get there. You're gonna get predatored. Alright then. That was just the first raid. And we took hits from that. Mm. Right, I think... Yeah, Vaffel's probably going to want to take off some of that armor and stuff, which took a lot of damage. Well, actually, first Vaffel's going to want to try and run down some people out of pure rage. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to interfere. We do have people coming along in 17 hours, so... Uh, you sure you want to keep raging out? 
no, no, they're going to head back home and grab a nap, which is probably a good idea. Uh, they took a crack to the jaw, two hit points of damage. But the problem is they've got to regenerate all their psi focus. They've got to get rested up. They've got to get ready for the next wave and the wave after that and the wave after that. So there's a few things I need to wrap my brain around. We need to start sitting over robots over here. Probably Jason's. I'm thinking a few of these. We've got a clean sweeper, a lifter. Mm, in fact, I think we could do with probably two lifters and a one clean sweeper. We'll have to do some changes, but basically I want to get some robots in here. And that means we're going to need to make sure we get, well, top up the power. We're also going to need another room for our vamps to get asleep in. Voffel's going to need to take a nap at some point. We're going to need something to handle stuff while Voffel's down. Probably, ooh, we could send over Emily or Tasluk. Actually, Tasluk might be better suited for the task. They've got themselves in visibility skip, but they're going to need their own. Actually, yeah, we should probably send over Tasluk now. Nope, nope, nope. There is far too many things that we're doing all in a row. For example, we have been collecting death rest serums. We now have 22, which means Tasluk is... They're the ones we're technically promoting to the next round sort of thing, so they're going to need to get eight of those. And uh, then we're going to need to get them the full setup that Alex and Waffle have with, you know, the... Uh, Eight, well, the four psychofluid pumps, uh, the four glucosoid pumps, and a couple of death rest accelerators. But we're probably going to build those on the combat tile. Uh, in fact, we may just... See, the thing is, I want to actually dig out a bunch more space right now while we've got all of our, or three of our miners here, and just rip a bunch out. But I'm terrified that we're going to suddenly, like, just dig along and suddenly, oh, boop, there's a massive open space behind you and drop pods can land in there. Because what I'm really looking forward to doing here is, I want to spread this corridor out. We're going to have to put in pillars to keep the mountain from collapsing. But I want to just line this entire area here with a whole bunch of very, very long range uranium slug turrets. Maybe throw in a few rocket swarm launchers as well, just, just for funsies. Or maybe put them on this side facing in that direction. Like, I, I want to basically build this into a giant underground murder fest area where we can just start just pouring unholy amounts of firepower down range. But we do got to worry about things like doomsdays ugh, and snipers and triples and stuff like that. We'll have to work around that. And at the same time, I don't think I can call in a triple, a double quest ending. We can put down the ship engine, no problems. There's no problems with putting down a ship engine and activating, but I don't think we can do the royalty quest ending here. I don't know if anyone's aware of a mod where we could mod it in, where we could do the royalty quest ending simultaneously on a combat tile, because it doesn't seem to allow you to summon it down, which I suppose makes sense. You're literally on an active combat tile. The Stellar would probably not want to come visit, but there's got to be some way around it, right? I'll, I'll have a look and see what I can find out. But for now, I've got to make sure that our prisoner gets their new genetic assignment so that we can turn them into successful juice box. Uh, I also need to make sure we send a proper team over. Right now, we've kind of just been going with what we've got, but I want about six to eight people here whose whole purpose will be just to turn this place into a perfect viable base. And then we've got to transfer all of this stuff across. I'm thinking the best way for transferring it across is going to be transport shuttles. We can make a completely overweight caravan and then use move that overweight caravan using permits and transport shuttles. Well, that's the theory. That will all be for the next episode. Sorry that there's not that much done in this, but there was a lot of actual prep in the background getting all of the kids trained up. We, we went on a lot of shopping sprees to find all of the correct side trainers, but all of them are well done. All of them are well bionic. I think we have a proper team to attempt this. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck. <laughs>